Hey, this is Emily Gavin Almanza of Partners for Justice with your one dirty secret about the criminal legal system. This week, I want to talk to you about mugshots. I recently wrote about the mugshot of President Trump and why it's so appalling that a mugshot would be creating a revenue stream for Donald Trump and the Trump campaign through the sale of koozies and mugs and t-shirts and donations that come from emails promulgating this mugshot. It's really crazy because mugshots are this insidious way in which our legal system and its surrounding like media apparatus can destroy people's lives even while they are presumed innocent. Now remember, a mugshot is taken at the time of arrest. It's really widespread in America. About one out of three Americans has been arrested by the time they're 23. So tons of people have mugshots. The thing is, the mugshot itself, which is often just a Google search away for every future employer a person's gonna have, 80% of employers use some kind of background check at this point. And that mugshot is like this indelible mark branding a person, even though they were innocent at the time the photo was taken, legally innocent, branding a person as having had criminal legal system contact. And we all know that criminal legal system contact is a disaster for future employment. People who've been incarcerated lose about $370 billion annually from reductions in wages post-incarceration. That's especially ridiculous because actually there was a survey of managers, over 80% of whom said that their formerly incarcerated employees were performing equally with or outperforming their never incarcerated employees. So we have this photograph, which when circulated, deprives people of jobs, of housing opportunities, makes them look like a criminal when they are legally innocent, and it's costing millions of Americans real wages. And the very same thing is making Donald Trump a lot of money. And I thought you should know that.